Fun fact of the day, Sony does not own the rights to most of the Marvel characters. Not sure if you know that. They do own the rights to Spider-Man, the most popular of all the Marvel characters. So as a result, they can't make Marvel movies, but they can make Spider-Man movies. It's this very weird conundrum where Marvel is doing their stuff with the MCU, Sony is doing their stuff with their Spider-Verse, whatever that means, and every now and then these two come together, right? So Spider-Man makes an appearance in Captain America Civil War and then the subsequent Avengers movies, and then Sony makes Homecoming, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Spider-Man No Way Home. And those three movies are overall very good. I wouldn't say they're, I, I think the last one, I think No Way Home is tremendous, but the other two were like really good. I wouldn't say that the rest of their movies that they make that are adjacent to Spider-Man have been any good. In fact, the vast, major the vast majority of them are hot, hot garbage. So on the one hand, you have the Spider-Man movies, and then you have the Spider-Man adjacent movies, which are like Madam Web, and the Venom films, and the upcoming Craven the Hunter, and those movies largely suck. So we're gonna talk about the latest Venom movie. It's clearly not going to be the last Venom movie because they never really wrap these, wrap these things up and Sony is just terrible at this. So let's talk about Venom The Last Dance. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out the video. Before we get started, I would ask that you follow me on my social medias. You can follow me on Instagram at Real Hometown Zero. You can follow me on X Hometown Zero YT. I also post all of my videos on there directly. If you would like to, please subscribe there. I'm trying to also build a follower base and fan base on there as well. So Hometown Zero YT on the X. Now, this movie is ass. It's not Madam Web ass, but it's not any good. And that's kind of where the Venom movies are. You have good Spider-Man movies, the complete and total garbage, like Madam Web, and then, which is literally the worst movie I've ever seen. And then you have the Venom movies in the middle. I don't care if you're entertained when you watch these, that's fine. You're allowed to enjoy these, but these are, these are not good films. They're like generic comic book movie that's trying way too hard to also connect to what Marvel is doing with the MCU. I'll give you an example. In the first two minutes of this movie, Thanos is mentioned. He's not mentioned by name, but he's, man he's mentioned as like the big purple alien. And the multiverse is straight up just name dropped in the very beginning of this movie. So they clearly want to like dance and, and dabble in that world while not being allowed to without the express consent of Marvel. It's all just a mess. It's all just a cluster and none of it works. So you had the first Venom movie, which Ruben Fleischer directed. It was fine. It was like an hour and a half. And it had some pretty okay effects. And it was like a capable Venom movie. It wasn't at all what Sony did with Spider-Man 3, which is kind of what people wanted. Venom, Let There Be Carnage, was directed by Andy Serkis. It was fine. I would say that movie was a little bit better than the first Venom because I liked what they did with Carnage. I thought Woody, Woody Harrelson was pretty good. This story was equally as dumb. And so now that brings us to The Last Dance, the final of the Venom trilogy. And the problem is this movie is thinks that it's much smarter and it thinks that it's much more engaged and it thinks that it's a better movie than it actually is. This movie has a montage at the end where it's like supposed to be like pulling at the heartstrings and it's like the relationship between Venom and Eddie and it's showing like all of these scenes from the previous movies and none of it strikes a chord whatsoever because these movies are not exactly the high art that that montage wants you to think they are. So the story in this one is um, pretty dumb. 
basically there is a big bad guy who is like older than you the universe his name is null k-u-n-l-l and he's really bad and he's really mean and he has long hair and he's scary because he sits on this throne on this weird planet where he's imprisoned by a key that's a codex which is inside venom but also inside eddie brock and whenever like they go full like transform into venom the codex is like visible to these alien creatures that null has sent to get the codex and kill them so he can be free from his prison and it's all really stupid and the MacGuffin is introduced in the first 30 seconds and um yeah this is like your typical low intelligence comic book movie I can't say anything good about it because there's not a lot that's good here. I thought the last like five minutes of the movie were okay, but then of course they undo all of that in the mid credits and the end credits, and then the movie is over. So that's my opinion of Venom The Last Dance. If you're looking for a good movie, this ain't it, dog. Let me know what you think in the comments. Sound off. Did you love this movie? Certainly hope not. I, I definitely didn't. They also like shoehorn Mrs. Chen into this the bodega owner from San Francisco. She somehow ends up at a hotel in Vegas, doesn't make, hotel casino in Vegas. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, movie sucks. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m. right here.